Welcome crafters! Today we are making DIY faux leather luggage tags on the Cricut. These will be perfect for future vacations and as gifts. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly craft tutorials. First, upload the luggage tag file into Design Space. If you don't have a Cricut, I have a PDF version you can print and cut by hand too. And upload the Wanderlust and Beach files. All of these are available on my website, which I will link in the description below. I will be using the foil quill for my designs, so I will change the designs from cut to draw. If you are using iron-on for your design, then obviously leave your designs as cut. Next, duplicate the luggage tag shape and make a rectangle on top of it, leaving a border. Select both of those shapes and slice, then delete the rectangle shapes so that you are left with an empty rectangle shape in the middle of the luggage tag shape. This will become the opening for the address card. Then size your luggage tags and designs and duplicate them for however many tags you are making. I made my luggage tags 5 inches tall. Then size the designs and center them. If they are hidden beneath the tag, just select the luggage tag, arrange, and then move to back. Now select one luggage tag and its corresponding design and attach them together. This lets the Cricut and foil quill know where to put the design. If you're using iron on vinyl, then this step isn't necessary. Select make it, then arrange the tags so there's a little bit more space between them, and then on the cutting screen, set your Cricut dial to custom. I chose genuine leather for my specific leather fabric. Make sure to have your white star wheels pushed all the way to the right so that they don't leave marks on the leather as the Cricut is cutting, and then it will say to use the deep cut blade. I did test with both and found that the fine point actually gave me a cleaner cut, but definitely do test cuts on your leather. Now put your leather onto the mat. I am using a fabric mat here, but you could use the strong grip mat too. Then I taped around the edges with washi tape just to make sure it wouldn't move during the cut. Now I am taping on the heat activated foil, nice and tight to get a clean design. If you are using vinyl, then you would cut that separately and not tape it to the leather. I have a few other tutorials going more in depth on the foil quill and how to use it in the Cricut, so I will link those if you want a tutorial on the foil quill itself. Make sure to put the foil quill in the Cricut where a pen would go to heat up before doing the cut, and then place the heat shield below it. Just be sure to remove the heat shield plate before starting the actual cut. Let the foil quill run and then push the pause button on the Cricut and remove the foil and then resume the cutting. Some users experience the foil quill not getting as clean of a cut through everything and I haven't had this issue. I just like to demonstrate pausing the Cricut during this step in case you run into that issue during your project. Here I am just showing the comparison of the fine point blade and the deep cut blade. I found the fine point gave a cleaner, more precise cut and a total happy dance on that gorgeous foiled beach designs foil quill just does it again. Next cut out the vinyl fabric slightly larger than your rectangle opening. Then you can use a tacky glue to adhere it to the inside of the tag. If you are just planning on sewing, you don't have to use glue. After you've glued the vinyl fabric on, you can then glue the whole tag together. Just make sure to not glue the top because you will need to slide in the address card. Once it's all glued, you can also trim off any extra fabric so the sides are all even. You can also sew around the three sides to make it extra secure, and I think it gives the overall luggage tag a polished look. Now add the address cards. I made these simple ones that you can print out and write the info onto, but you can also make your own, hand write it all, or have the Cricut draw one out for you too.
Now simply add on the ribbon, string, or cording through the hole to close it all up and for attaching onto your luggage. I decided to go with cording for a more neutral look. Thanks for watching and crafting. Keep smiling, keep crafting, and hit the subscribe button for more DIYs weekly.